Tasha Blackman and we are present at the 2016 Gansba War Awards. Would you please introduce yourself to our audience and to the world? Alfonso Akinah Jackson, blessings, poet, actor, model, extraordinaire. And you emceed a lot of our, um, you were presenting our awards. So how did you, did you feel any of that energy? I know you felt all of it, so I don't know why I asked if you felt any of it. But you exude a lot of energy. Tell me about yourself, your personal poetry and the gifts and talents that you bring to the table. I know that they were using you for your visual. and um, What visual? What, <laughs> I don't know how much the camera can see, but you're gorgeous. I appreciate it, as you are, King. Queen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what is, your, what is your foundation? Well, acting first. Okay. So acting first and foremost I'm from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Okay. So I've seen the rougher side of things. You know, a lot of people out here when they hear Connecticut, they automatically think oh, a whole bunch of rich white people. Exactly. And I'm like, you know, we're right next to New York. <laughs> so you don't know enough is what you're thinking. You yeah, don't know yeah, enough. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't want to call them ignorant, but I'm like, look on the map and exactly. you'll see we're right exactly. next to New York. They just hear Connecticut. They don't yeah. know enough. But and that's my thing. I try to tell people, if you're poor in a, in a place where you know. Everybody around you is kind of poor. You know, two dollars you might be able to get something, but when you're poor around rich people, mm -hmm. it's a little that two dollars ain't really gonna do nothing. That's true. So your grind has to elevate just a little bit more. So uh, that was my upbringing. You know, I was in the streets for a little bit, grew up out of that. My kids kind of really saved me out of that. You know, having kids like that's a whole nother, another different so world. So love saved your life. Oh, absolutely. That responsibility. I never forget, man. Somebody was like, "Yo, no matter what you do, they need you." That's right. So, you gotta and take, if you're not there, they're missing something. They're missing a lot. And me moving to Atlanta, you know, was it was a trying time for me as well too because I had to move away from my kids. But I moved away from Connecticut with a vision, yeah, you know, of elevation. So with the poetry, I try to use my acting to bring the poetry out, and that's basically what I do. I'm more of an actor than a poet, but yes. I believe poetry, as you as you seen on the stage tonight, it's like the pen has power Amen. for the most part. Yes. So a lot of the poets that were up there, they're poets who are speaking not just for themselves but for the community, for you know, speaking through experiences that they seen, experiences that others have experienced close to them. So that's what I do too. I try to take take those words and translate them into something that somebody can feel. So if there is one thing that you want us to know concerning yourself, mm -hmm. what is that one thing? That y'all better look out for me for 2017 because okay, I'm hard, for real, for real. You just spoke that thing into existence. <laughs> yeah, I bet pay attention. That's right. Um, 